Well, I mean, I, I, I think the, the the way I feel right now is, you know, you go from the from the highest of highs on Sunday, and then you come back to the to the trenches of the lowest of lows. And uh, the reason why I put it that way is because, you know, once again, I, I don't, you know, I, I'm not taking anything away from Tulsa. They made they made the the plays that they needed to make, and certainly made the you know the the three point shots that they needed to make. Certainly converted, you know, several miss you know mishaps turnovers from us into into transition you know baskets easy baskets on the other end so you know I, I have no excuses there other than we didn't get the job done and you know our half court defense was about as bad there for probably six to eight minutes as, as it's been all year I mean, helping off the wrong kids and shouldn't be helping on ball side you know the stuff that you learn you know should have learned a long long time ago uh, well, we, you know, we, you know, with it being, um, you know, and we score in the mid fifties, you know, I don't know. I mean, that, I don't think that's, I don't think that's the way we win basketball games. I think we need to, for the basketball game to be in the, you know, in the seventies, preferably. So, what happened? What happened? Uh, we got what, 45-40. Uh, great, great, great question, Chris. I, I, I think we got, you know, a little. Uh, I think we got a little satisfied. Uh, I think we got, uh, you know, see, like we played very tight down the stretch. Uh, don't know why, you know, really, but I felt like we played nervous. I felt like we played tight. I felt like we went back to the same stuff as far as you know, playing not to lose the game rather than continue to play the game to win the game. Um, I, I thought that uh, you know they made a nice adjustment on, on Porsche with really hedging out and then really trying to trap her and take the ball out of her hands and I think they made some really poor decisions when they were when, you know in the result of that. What do you think was the biggest problem? You said it was the reason why you yeah, I think the lack of execution is number one. You know, I, I we went through again we went through time there where you know. I don't know exactly what it was, but it felt like a, it felt like an eternity to where we didn't score. It had to be five, six minutes before we didn't go we went through and didn't score at all. And again, I think we played tight. And I felt like we played passive. Uh, I didn't feel like we played anything that resembled the way we bounced back and played on Sunday. And that 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 was the uh, you know the other thing was we shot almost 40 percent from three the first half. We shot 20 percent the second half. And we couldn't make a shot. We couldn't make a perimeter shot. And we certainly couldn't make one when we needed it the most. And you know, I thought we missed some really costly free throws down the stretch as well. And that that certainly cost us. And you put those two or three things together on top of getting out rebounded the way we got out rebounded, and you're not going to win. I mean, you're not. You're you're not going to win. And that's why I go back to you know kind of what I alluded to earlier is you know that's what kills me the most. You know, as you, you go through this and you put so much into it and, you know, at the end of the day, I, you know, I, I still feel like we beat ourselves. I mean, you know, I feel like we made so many, you know, mistakes and, you know, we had 16 turnovers, but, you know, no turnover's good. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you, we, we certainly uh, turned it over in some really crucial situations and, you know, that's just giving them that's just giving them points basically. At the end of the day, that's that's how I see it. And I think if anybody goes back and watches the tape, they'll they'll agree with me. Yeah, what are your thoughts on P's turnovers? I mean, she had about half, but the team turnovers. Exactly half. Yeah. She had eight of our sixteen. And I mean, I, I I don't I don't know how to explain. It. I mean, that's not poor I mean, that's just not her. And, you know, I, I I don't. I mean, I've, I've never, I've never, in you know, the, the you know, three years that I've been here, I've, I've never seen that from her. I just haven't. I mean, she's, you know, she's, you know, I mean, I guess, you know, as great as she's been and and, and is, you know, everybody's do, a, you know, a, a, an off day. But, you know, I, I, I thought she got going pretty good early and really got us going because that was the other thing that I thought was just uh, eerie. It was just eerie weird of how, you know, the game started. I felt like our energy was really low. I felt like it was really down. And then 
thought she kind of gave us an extra bounce and hit a couple of shots and, and kind of got us going. And, you know, the other, the, and, I, and I didn't think Tiana, you know, I didn't think Tiana played, you know, her normal high energy, high level game as far as, kind of with her stats, but I, I'm just saying from, the, especially the defensive side of it and just kind of really being that staple of, of how we play, you know, I just, I just felt like, you know, it was, it was a huge letdown in, in a lot of ways. What adjustments do you plan on making for kind of cracking down uh, one player to the next week? Yeah, we got two tough ones on the road, and that's what makes this one even more, you know, bitter to, bitter pill to swallow, so to speak, is, you know, you, you know, have a quick turnaround and then you travel on Saturday and play um, at Tulane on, on Sunday and then turn right back around and leave on Wednesday and play at El Paso and play UTEP on that Thursday. But, uh, and then turn right back around and then play SMU here, you know, a week from Sunday. So basically we're getting ready to go right back to the, to the old cycle where we're playing three of the top you know, teams in, in, in the Conference USA. So, um, You know, I, I don't know what else to do, you know, as far as to answer your question directly. Um, I, I don't know that it as much as, you know, what I have to do or what we have to do as a staff as it is what they have to do. And that's take care of the basketball, that's rebound the basketball, that's make your free throws, and that's, you know, play much better defense, play smarter defense. And I think if we take care of those four categories, it would seem real simple, I, we'd go right back and be a, a, a pretty good basketball team. But if we don't, then you know, this, this could get up. That's just being honest. Anything else, guys? Thank you.